Hey y'all. I switched to a vertical format. No, a horizontal format because um, I tried to do the vertical thing. I wanted to make it feel like it was like a um, FaceTime video, but uh, Google Drive played me and gave me the bars and I hate the bars, so here we are. In this video, I kind of want to focus on the little things. So um, you guys can see I did my hair. I'm wearing this really cool jacket that's from Guatemala from the 70s. And um, that's kind of the focus is how we're going to focus on little things during this time. There's a cat right there. Ducky. This is Ducky. She's wild right now. She does not want to be held. She's looking at the snow. For extra you can put something that you're grateful for in Google Classroom as a class comment if you feel comfortable doing that or as a private comment to me. And the idea is about gratitude is that in difficult times, we need to be able to find things to be grateful for. And I know that this is a difficult thing. In fact, for me, this has been a really difficult thing and it's something that I am and have been trying to focus on the last few years. So this gives us an opportunity to think about how we're grateful um, even in trying times. And um, I think that that really will help with our resiliency as we are getting through this. And that's what I hope at least. So resiliency is our ability to recover from things that we've been through. Sullivan is this place where people show incredible resiliency. So many of you have been through challenges, yet you come every day and you make me laugh and you're awesome. And I also think it's really beautiful to think of it as being able to return to original form after being bent, compressed, or stretched out of shape. There's a beautiful poetry in that. <laughs> I don't usually give extra credit. You guys know I'm super stingy with extra credit, but... So let's throw around extra credit like confetti and um, stay engaged with one another. Um, ducky. The other thing is I'm going to try to organize some sort of internet-based high-low. Um, most of you in my classes have done high-low circles. So a video on what high-low really is is coming. Um, and stay tuned for that. I think right here I'm gonna insert some things around why gratitude is important and it's a tool that people use to cope. So one of the things you can do to help yourself get through difficult times is to think about the things that you can control. Here's a list of some things that you might be able to control. For some of you, you might not be able to control the type of food that you eat. Um, so you'll have to look at this graphic each individually, knowing what you do have. Um, but one of the things on this list is to practice how often you are being grateful or practice gratitude. And what practicing gratitude means is that finding things in your life to be thankful for and reaching out to others in your life when you are thankful for them. You know, we've talked about neuroplasticity a little bit, and here's that graphic there about it. And the idea of neuroplasticity is that um, we can actually change the, some of the ways that our brain works. So if practicing gratitude is really hard for you, know that if you're practicing it, it's something that can get easier. Like I said, it was really hard for me when I was younger, so I understand that. And obviously with all this stuff, it's easier said than done, but I wanna give you some tools uh, to try it. Yeah. Shout out to George for peace signs. George, uh, send me a video if you're doing the peace signs because I want to put it in my videos. All right. Bye.